This week, I'm going to show you how to make Halloween props move around on a table without touching them. Start by finding a cheap Halloween prop. On the bottom side, cut a slit that's just big enough to fit a strong magnet. Then, apply a drop of glue to your magnet and carefully slide it into place. Be sure to use a glue that's appropriate for the material. To help press the magnet in place, I put another set of magnets on the outside. You may want to put a little more glue around the other sides as well. Allow the glue to fully cure. Next you need a linear motor. For it to be able to move the prop, we need to attach another set of magnets onto the end of the motor. To do this, I just stuck the magnets onto the mounting pin for the motor. If you need to, you can add glue to help hold it in place. Now you need to attach the motor to the underside of a table. Or, if your tabletop is too thick for the magnets, you can replace it with something thinner like plywood or a bulletin board. The easiest way to attach the motor is with either hot glue or duct tape. Once the motor is in place, set the prop on the top side. When the motor moves, the magnets will cause the prop to move with it. To automate the setup, you need some kind of a microcontroller. For this project, I'm using a peekaboo controller. I picked this controller because it comes with a power supply and the relay circuit already built into it. To program the controller, press the record button. Then, press buttons 1 and 2 to extend and retract the motor. When you're done, press the record button again to stop recording. The controller will then replay the programmed sequence whenever it's triggered. To activate the controller, you can use any sensor that connects the trigger pin to ground. In this case, I'm using a 12-volt motion sensor. This connects directly to the controller with color-coded wires. Now all you have to do is set up the table with a bowl of candy and a few additional Halloween props. Try to hide the motion sensor somewhere near the candy bowl so that it's only activated when someone reaches for a piece of candy. If you find that the motion sensor is too sensitive, you can put a piece of tape on each side. This will narrow its field of vision. Now whenever your friends reach for the candy bowl, the hand will slowly reach out towards them. This will scare a lot of people simply because they weren't expecting it to move. Thanks for watching, and check back next week for more DIY hacks and how-tos.